okay now we'll see rea- so how how actually free radicals can be synthesized free radical synthesis is done primarily in two ways one is by using light by using light it's very common so when it is capped in light usually ccl4 or neutral solvents are used so that it becomes a free radical it becomes a free radical so uh, the so like this we have several reactions like you can have free radical formation from bromine from oxygen or from alkanes or from n bromosuccinamide all those reactions all those reactions where we take into consideration the compound when given with enough radiation the radiation energy is enough to break the molecular orbital so that each one of these atoms are uh, are homolytically fissioned so that every atom will have its own electron they will be apart thereby a free radical is generated free radical is generated so this is the way how primarily free radicals are generated so here you can also find a simple link between this and oils uh, means putrefaction of oils like fixed oils like uh, the vegetable oils whatever we have so when they were not stored properly when they were not stored properly means in open container and exposed to light what happens because when it is exposed to the environment all gases can be dissolved in liquids because every liquid has its own capability of dissolving gases so when oxygen enters into oil and when it is exposed to light what happens is oxygen will become oxygen free radical it becomes peroxy radical that that peroxy radical actually reacts with double bonds that are unsaturations that are there in fixed oil thereby it destroys the chemistry of fixed oil so that is the way how uh, fixed oils are spoiled okay so there whatever we have is only oxygen is there h nu is there and thereby oxygen free radical is formed which actually reacts with the remaining chemical remaining functionalities run second one is by using a free radical so here what happens is you have a free radical already generated already generated when you react this one with another compound with another compound then what happens is either this r or the free radical is neutralized so that a newer free radical is generated a newer free radical is generated or else it can undergo several types of reactions so, so thereby reaction goes on further so this is a simplest representation of how a free radical can be generated from an already formed free radical so here uh, uh, the several examples are there like uh, polymerization of acetylene to obtain polyacetylene or else uh, uh, reaction okay bromination of uh, benzylic carbon by using n bromosuccinamide so in all those reactions primarily we are going to generate a free radical by using light then that free radical is going to react with the another chemical to generate a newer free radical so this is the way these are the two very popular industrially used me- means of generation of free radicals